So this is a painting I did of Hozier this past week, and that's the photo I did on the left of a video interview. I just sketched it out in white color pencil on a red background, and then decided horizontal would be the best choice for this. I normally work in larger format, so trying to rein it in is a little bit more difficult for me. I have noticed with this, and it is a, a an experimental piece because I haven't done portraiture in a while, so I just wanted to see where I was at with that. I want to say that I do the pieces and it takes on a life of its own. If you're an artist who's trying to find their own style, um, I would look at this piece in retrospect against my other art and it is very representational of the kind of art I'm doing right now, which is a lot more free, a lot less structured. And when I'm really trying to be accurate, I can do photorealism, but I've been doing so much artistic um, license kind of work, so to speak, that this is really a, not an exact accurate reproduction of his face, but definitely brings in the style that I am doing right now, currently. As far as the technical work on this painting, um, I started out, like I said, with the acrylic background in red because I knew it would come through on the face and give him more of that uh, ruddy energy that he has in his face and let it come through the acrylic. I struggled a bit with his nose and you know, the nose isn't an exact size duplicate to the size of his face. And, you know, the look and energy coming through his eyes is really what I was going for with this piece. And to see where I'm at with my technical ability. When I worked on his nose, you could see I reworked it a number of times because um, you're trying to get the right highlights in the right shape. And, you know, overall, I think this painting shows the energy coming through his eyes and the happiness and joy he has when he speaks about his art. I used Posca pens in this because the ability to control it around the microphone. I went back in and added highlights to his eyes because it worked better with the brush um, and I really wanted to add that light coming through his eyes with the color in the iris. and. That's one of my techniques for getting the lights to really gleam is do a gradient on the iris and then go back and add the hard highlights. I hope you enjoyed it.